to see all of you wonderful human beings <laughs> today. Who, who, what are you laughing at already, huh? Just the, the thing you're getting ran about. Oh, the little post? Yeah, I mean, yeah, hey, yeah. you know. I like to, I'll read it off. How's everybody doing today? I'm just getting Instagram set up. Uh, episode 93 of Wellness Wednesday, we will uh, be discussing CBD for yoga. Because, you know, yoga is a very popular trend. You know, I wouldn't even call it a trend. You know, yoga, meditation, it's really, really popular. Um, well, it has been always, but I mean, it's getting incredibly popular over the last few years. So, and CBD, as you guys know, or if you don't know, CBD is incredibly popular. Um, yeah. So, you know, pairing the two really kind of makes sense. I forgot you weren't next to me. I thought you were next to me. Oh, really? You thought I was just talking? Yeah, so I was like looking down. I was like, I was like, oh, he's going over these things. I look up and you're just right there. I'm like, yeah, oh. I'm just right here. Hey, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm getting Instagram ready, so. Yeah, I'm pulling up my end. Perfect. I sent Cameron the screenshot of the thing I wanted to rant about today. There we go. Let me move this back a little bit so Cam can be in the shot. Perfect. You're good. All right, all right, here we go. Miss Party People. Right. And we're live on Instagram. Hello, everybody. All right, Cody I'm going to Mc- come back into the shop now. Cody McAllister. Callister. Shared. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Yes, guys. Hi, Cam. Hi, Eden. Hi, um, make sure you guys are sharing throughout the show. Um, today, we're actually going to be, I'll do two winners just because I love you all so much. Each one person or each person is gonna get a uh, white koi 250 milligram CB oil. Um, you know, if we can get, I'll check the viewership right now. I'm pulling it up. Um, I'll check that, and um, you know, hi I'll, Lori. Obviously, Lori yes, Cameron, say hello to everybody for me because I'm not even uh, in there yet. So I am, you know, had to get the camera and everything set up. Um, let's see here. All right, I think I got like everything. I'm kind of like losing myself uh, today, I suppose. I was pretty organized, and then um, yeah, here we are. <laughs> Time kind of got away from me, unfortunately, guys. Oh, and tomorrow, or in two days, actually, we'll be announcing the winner of our big, big giveaway, which. Um, One person is going to be, nope, you're not winning that. This is going to be, it's been going on for about two weeks now. Um, We're giving away two two of our full spectrum 1,000 milligram tinctures, one chocolate mint, one natural, a full bottle of Wellesley CBD Super Chews, a 500 milligram Wellesley Apple CBD Oil, and a 500 milligram Wellesley Grape CBD Oil. And while I am talking about Wellesley CBD Super Chews, I did, Jesus. I do want to tell you guys, I have listened to your guys' requests um, asking for smaller packages, um, you know, oh, sorry guys for the mic, um, smaller pack sizes. So, um, you know, instead of just having the 30 count bottle right here, we now have little 10 count sample bags. Um, I yeah, saw that at that? Shopify and yep. I was like, when did we get 10 yep, counts? There's 10 count <laughs> sample bags now. Um, they're, they're so you obviously get 10 super chews in there. So there's going to be a total of 350 milligrams of broad spectrum hemp extract in that um in that bag and it'll be right now it's up on the site um and it's going for 29.99 so it's a um a little more affordable way um you know to uh, get your cbd or to try the super chews for yourself so um yeah make sure i did i was listening to you guys i wanted to make sure you guys know that i'm going to step in front of the camera real quick and if you guys think about it this, this way thing. uh Move it back a little bit. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, and if you guys think about it this way, the we we also sell the koi uh, ten pack. Uh, yeah, they're yeah. Or uh, twenty those, pack. It's like a, oh yeah, the twenty, 20 pack. Yep. And that one's also twenty nine ninety nine, but that only has two hundred milligrams of CBD and twenty gummies. Yeah. Whereas this one's um yeah thirty five milligrams per gummy. There are only ten, but you of course could split them in half and still get more than koi. Yep, let's be Just honest, saying. guys. At the end of the day, you're not paying for the number of gummies. You are paying for the amount of CBD that is in that formula. So keep that in mind, everybody. Um, Little bit, just a little trendy. bit, you know, sorry. All right. I'm working over here. So, yeah, guys, I wanted to just point that out. Um, so, all right, so now I'm finally oh. in here. All right. Yeah, pull up Instagram so I can say hello. To, kind of, sorry, guys, I kind of went on a little Shut the um, hell up. rant. I did want to just inform you of all of that. 
Um, oh, and one last thing is uh, use the, uh, you know, as always, guys, use that coupon code uh, WWE for 15% off your entire purchase for the next 24 hours. And again, guys, that's WW93. And this will expire literally tomorrow, January 30th. At, I'm going to make it go until 5 p.m. I'll give you guys a little bit of extra time. but um, So, you know, whether you win what are one of the winners of our giveaway or you don't win at all, you can still at least save some money and, you know, 15% off your entire purchase with that coupon code. So that's, uh, I like to reward you guys for watching even if you don't win. Um, in addition to the, uh, you know, the constant free education that we get, give to you guys each and every week. Um, so, Cody McAllister, Lori, Carrie Newman, Sue Whalen, hello. Um, thank you, Carrie, for tagging all the friends. Allium, hello. Ice and Coco, hello. It's great to see all of you guys and gals today. Um, oh, oh, and yeah, guys, I see you guys talking about uh, the tumblers. You guys asked me last week that you wanted more Wellesley swag, you know. Um, so, last night, you know, we got uh, added some tumblers to the website. I am in the process. I'm gonna make a 20 ounce version of that. Um, you know, maybe get some coffee mugs or whatever. So, um, you know, there's a lot of different products that we can get added, um, like swag items for you if you guys are interested. So I'll keep adding that on there because you guys are requesting it. So I'm doing it for you guys. Um, you know, just like the Super Chews in a smaller package. I, uh, you know, you guys keep asking and asking. So, uh, you know, here we are rolling it out. So we do these things uh, for you guys. Um, let's see, GNA Wellness. Hey guys, so excited to hopefully win a giveaway. I've been anticipating trying your product, GNA Wellness. I hope, um, if, even if you don't win, I hope you are still able to um, oh. try the Wellness products. Do you want to walk this way? Uh. Might be easier. I'll disconnect this. Yeah, thank you. It'll be a little safer that way. Um, you know, we got a lot of equipment in here and everything. And if you guys didn't know, Cam has really long legs, so he's like always in the way. He's just in the way. So, um, <laughs> um, all right. And I think um, that's kind of all the news. I wanted to make sure to get all this news um, sort of out of the way before, you know, getting into the nitty gritties of today's episode. Um, just because I, I didn't want to obviously forget because I do get really excited once we start talking and everything. So I just want to make sure you guys know, um, you know, of some of the new things that have hit Wellesley. Uh, Dane Christensen, Wellesley rocks, love Wellesley. Well, thank you so much for saying that. Appreciate the kind words. Hello, Stuart Wells. Good to see you. Um, all right. Um, yeah, that pink girl that live is paused on Instagram. I don't know what's going on. Now Instagram's giving us problems. I, you know, it is what it is, guys. Um, you know, I'll uh, I'll check that here in a second once Cam gets back here. Um, you know, we'll try. You know, Andy's I just uh, it's always something. Will you come over here? Andy's got jokes, dude. Andy's got jokes. Yeah. Andy's he, making. He jokes. could have totally handled that situation. Well, it's okay. Cam's back. Um, <laughs> let's see. Let me check the Instagram feed real quick, guys. Sorry, I apologize. You know. All right, I'm pulling up my end again. Oh God, that. Fuck. Yeah. Just you do just smirking at me too, which is so strange because like hello okay perfect. Um, Let's see. Yeah, so it looks like. What? All right, yeah, I think live is back. I mean, you look good, so. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, I can see you. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, I don't know. Is your phone still paused? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me see. Breaks it out of it. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. Up to the top. Where? Oh, top left. I keep the important stuff up top, dude. <laughs> yeah. Easy yeah, access. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, guys, it, yeah, so Instagram just kind of froze, but now we're good. We're okay. Um, so Cam is back. Um, guys, so Wellness Wednesday, episode 93. We're going to be talking about CBD for yoga. Oh, and also, guys, if we can get the viewership up to 30 people, I will add an additional giveaway, so then there will be three people that win. Um, we're at 15 right now, so if you guys keep sharing, Absolutely. tagging, engaging, by doing all of that stuff, that's how you enter to win our giveaway. You guys on Instagram, just... Comment, tag friends, just engage with us. Facebook, you guys, tag friends, comment, ask questions, and share this live stream. Start watch parties, you know, and any question you guys have, always add the hashtag Wellesy at the beginning or end of it. And doing all of that at the end, we will announce, uh, we'll randomly pick uh, winners from all that engagement. Easy as that, guys. You win free CBD just by engaging with us and hanging out with us. So, wow. Um, that wow. Is, that's bonkers. That is pretty bonkers. Um, all right, so Chris Pache Pachecho. Oh. Hey, sorry, man, if I butchered your name. Um, all right, so CBD for yoga. In this modern 
wellness-oriented age, more people seem to be turning to both yoga and meditation in order to calm their minds and bodies. Both yoga and meditation for centuries, um, but only now are these ancient practices becoming, um, you know, more mainstream. So we now have the research to show that yoga and meditation are actually capable of creating biochemical and physiological changes that can greatly enhance our day-to-day -day lives. Wellness enthusiasts also know that CBD is becoming a staple of the wellness industry, being more accessible than ever before. CBD, as you probably know, is completely legal. CBD products will not get you high. They do not contain enough THC to produce intoxicating effects. However, lots of people are using them in order to achieve, achieve a sense of inner bliss that they never thought possible. Now, guys, yoga and meditation, calming the mind and body. Ooh. So yoga and meditation are both associated with reduced stress, improvement in mood, decreased muscular tension, and calmer, a calmer nervous system. In fact, many studies have been done to show just how these two practices cause changes within the body that lead to a stronger sense of overall well-being. In today's world, we are finding that it's harder and harder to escape stress. Therefore, it's easy to see why yoga and meditation have become such attractive additions to one's daily routine. They can be done in the comfort of our own homes at any time of the day and don't require a ton of effort or financial investment. Boom. Now, using CBD to potentially, guys, potentially, keyword, potentially enhance your meditation and yoga routine. CBD is one of the most successful additions to the wellness market of honestly all time. More and more people are turning to CBD in an effort to actually enhance their sense of focus, calmness, and euphoria as they juggle all the demands of modern life. Um, given the things that CBD may be capable of, you can understand why people are using this plant-based compound to enhance their daily meditation and yoga practices. If the goal of meditation and yoga is to unwind, which it is for many people, it makes sense that CBD would be a popular product to take beforehand, during, and even after, honestly. Now guys, adding to your daily yoga and meditation rituals. So now that you know that CBD is being used by yoga and meditation enthusiasts to enhance their practices, you're probably wondering how to properly go about incorporating hemp into your own daily routine. Well here at Wells, we offer a wide variety of CBD mm -hmm. products that are great for taking prior to your daily regimen. As you probably know, there are a lot of CBD products to choose from, so let us break down the ones that we think are best suited for daily yoga and meditation practices. And again, guys, you know, if you want, if you're practicing yoga, you meditate, and you want to incorporate CBD into that routine, you guys can honestly, there's, I don't think there's really a bad time to incorporate it, whether it's before you do yoga, during it, or even after. Um, you know, I, I feel like it could be, it's applicable for, any any time during your session before during and after you know like before that could kind of help put you in that sort of uh, sense of relaxation zen. the zen you know and then um you know during it can kind of help you go further into that sort of state of relaxation and then after um even during and after that can uh the during aspect could help with the healing process dur after, you know, because especially if you're yeah. starting CBD or if you're starting yoga, I'm sure. I mean, I don't do yoga, but I can imagine you're kind of sore when you're just starting it out doing it, you know, because you're stretching yeah, muscles, yoga, you know, yeah. it's just like never used before. So I can imagine you being extremely sore. Either. Yeah. So like, I mean, some of the, like what I see some people doing, it's like, how are you that flexible? That's crazy. So I definitely see a large, large use case of CBD products in yoga and meditation practices and you know we deal with um you know a a lot of uh, health and wellness sort of um areas that you know practice yoga or have yoga classes and they also sell our products so um i definitely see a strong strong use of these products um so the first one of the cbd products would be cbd tinctures of course my favorite uh cbd tinctures are oral products that are consumed sublingually which if you guys don't know simply means lifting up your tongue and dropping the oil right underneath your tongue on those sublingual glands and then it's absorbing and going into the bloodstream that way so it's not digested or anything so it has pretty quick effects it goes into effect you know about 15 to 30 minutes and the effects are pretty long lasting typically about four to six hours now it can vary from person to person but uh that's generally what you can expect 
So with tinctures, this means that rather, you know, than swallowing and addressing the CBD, the product is going to be held beneath your tongue so that it can absorb through the sublingual tissue. And guys, make sure when you drop it on your tongue, you don't just drop it on your tongue and swallow it. You want to hold it there for 30 to 60 seconds, maybe even a little longer. You know, I try and go for about at least a minute, honestly. I always forget that it's in my mouth. I'm like, oh. Yeah, like I'll put it in my mouth and I'll just like be working. I'll start I'll, doing something. Yeah, and it'll probably be a couple of minutes, yeah. you know. So, I mean, it's not hurting by letting it stay there for a little bit. Um, so, you know, this really allows it to become fully active within, you know, 30 minutes, as I just mentioned. Given the usual length of time to complete a yoga meditation routine, taking a tincture prior to starting is a great idea. So then you're getting relief by the time you go to start you go, your yoga class, your meditation class, that CBD is already in full effect for you. Now, no. my favorite. Yeah, guys. you like how I did that? You yeah, like how I did that? It makes a sweet of you, man. Yes. CBD topicals, y'all know this. So, CBD topicals are unique. That they don't require that you to that you consume any hemp compounds internally. Instead, of topicals are mas instead topicals are massaged into the skin, meaning they will specifically target the localized area of application. If you're doing a yoga and meditation to combat tension within the body, a topical may be a great choice for before, after, or during. Ooh, you naughty. Uh, Chris Storm uh, asking, how do I do a review of your product and how do I get it in my local store? Well, Chris Storm, I am so happy that uh, you would love to get our products in your local shop and even do a review. So, Chris Storm, what I'm going to say is please shoot me a, uh, a direct message on the Wellesley Facebook page. And I would be more than happy to, after the show, to uh, discuss with you, um, you know, how we can do that. I'll, uh, we, we'll just discuss. Just send me a direct message on the Wellesley page. Or, Chris, you can send me an email to hello at wellesley.com. Just put your name in the subject line so I know if you do the email route. Um, but obviously, just put your name in there as well uh, for the PM. But I would definitely love to talk to you about that, Chris. Thank you for your interest. Um, so next up, we have CBD edibles. CBD edibles are becoming extremely popular because they're fun to take and can provide a hemp experience that lasts for, you know, several hours. And most of the time, it's very, very tasty. Uh, you know, taking edibles in the morning can ensure that these compounds remain active throughout the afternoon and into your yoga routine because they can take up to, edibles can take up to two hours to kick in and last four to six hours. But sometimes people even report six to eight hours or even eight to ten. You know, it, it really just depends. It can vary from person to person. So keep that in mind when wanting to take a CBD edible for your upcoming yoga session. So this now leads us into CBD bath bombs. You know, you could kind of classify those under topicals. Uh, but, you know, I did want to kind of uh, portion these or separate these out. So CBD bath bombs. Using a CBD bath bomb prior to a meditation yoga routine is a great way to, you know, obviously jumpstart your wellness regimen. But bat, because, you know, baths are renowned for easing tension throughout the muscles and calming the mind. And honestly, guys, you know, I mean, most people don't have time to take a bath before, you know, going to yoga. You know, you're at work oh, you and then that's, that's what I'm saying. So, you know, if you don't have time to jump in the bath before your yoga session, or yoga sessions, I was reading relax, the next word. So relax and recover with ease after your intense yoga or meditation session with a Wellesley CBD bath bomb. Using a hemp infused CBD bath bomb can maximize your bath session before you start your yoga and meditation practices and even help with the recovery process following your yoga and meditation routine. And I mean, most people just love relaxing by taking a bath. So I mean, why not step up those wellness benefits by dropping a well CCB bath bomb into the mix? You know, we got three options. I don't think we have them out here, but um, we have the uh, we have the invigorating eucalyptus, the uh, relaxing lavender, and the ocean breeze CBD bath bomb. And those, I mean, especially now that eucalyptus is really popular right now, just because I think uh, you know it's cold and flu season, um, you know, congestion, just being sick. That eucalyptus will help open up the air passageways and. Obviously, having the CBD in there doesn't hurt. So, um, you know, this time of year, especially bath bombs are really, really popular. Uh, so if you guys want to uh, pick those up, you know, they're available at wellsy.com and use that coupon code WW93 to get 15% off. And make sure, guys, I want to see how many of you guys are going to pick up. Uh, I'm interested to see how many of you guys end up picking up the 10-pack versus the 30-pack. What Honestly... But I think it's gonna ha how I think this is gonna play out is those of you that have been a little hesitant to try the super chew just because you're not sure if you want to do uh, you don't want a full thirty count bottle and commit the eighty dollars. So I think what a lot of you guys will do is 
try that 10 pack and you guys will see like holy shit this is why everybody likes these super yeah. chews and then you'll quickly come back and buy the 30 count bottle because it is a better value you're obviously buying in bulk so and i mean honestly like cam said earlier even with like the koi gummies you know you're getting um what is it 20 gummies you're getting 20 gummies or 10 milligrams a pop so there's 200 mm -hmm. milligrams in the entire package whereas ours you're getting 10 gummies and there's 350 milligrams in it so same um price. you know almost same price and almost double the cbd content just saying just saying i love y'all i don't want to rip you off i want to make it as accessible um to as many people as possible so um i understand that these products can get a little expensive um you know but it's uh there is unfortunately a hard cost to manufacture these products and extract grow them extract it label it fulfill it then there's labor that goes along with it and there's testing there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes for you guys to get that product to show up at your doorstep yep. Whew. all right so we're gonna try oh, we're doing damn, from damn. gataka from gataka it's a limited edition so i don't even think this will be available because it does sound like we will be adding this to the site. I told them I'd give Gataka a shot and put them on the Wellesy website. So um, we'll get them these chocolate, these CBD infused chocolates up on the website soon. Um, you know, and then we also have the Receptra products coming, the Gataka, and then there's another uh, there's another uh, line like the Wellness. You remember the, the, that Wellness that gold pen? Oh yeah, one. yeah, that thing was sick. Yeah, it was like a. And it, it was a broad much, spectrum, yeah. and then it was a, you know a CBN kind of pen. Yeah. Um. So that one was really cool. So we're getting those added. I was just waiting for some new, um, for some updated information from the manufacturer. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and try this Gitaka pumpkin spice chocolate. It's got ten milligrams of hemp derived full spectrum CBD. It's got a QR code right here on the package, and I believe honestly these guys are a. Colorado company, I, I for the I honestly I think you I, said that last time. I'm pretty sure they are, man. Like, I mean, let's see. So, I mean, there's 38 calories in it. We're just reading you guys some. Whoa, like, 38, pack. dude. 2.4 grams of sugar. Can't have so it it's too not much. Not like insane amounts of sugar. Watch my weight. Um, you know, I mean, it's got some good ingredients in there. So, I mean, it's not artificial and stuff. So, let's see. God, see, and the issue is, is why does it have, I think this is dark chocolate. Like, oh, Like, see, I can, no. I don't like chocolate, but, like, I could tolerate milk. milk chocolate. I could tolerate it, okay? But, like, dark chocolate, like, but I want to try, I, you know, I got to try, yeah, it is dark chocolate. Oh. You can just tell. But if you put white chocolate in front of us, Yeah, don't. some white chocolate, guys. It's like, all right, let's Dude. see. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Whoa, I was expecting it to be, like, filled. What the hell are you giving me? Look, like, I was expecting it to, like, me to, like, pop it open. There would be, like, a pumpkin, sp like, an orange filling or something, yeah, you know? Some... Like, but this is just, like, dark. You guys are going to see us, like, not, like, dark chocolate. So, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. I got water right here. Hang on. I got monster. Mmm. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the dark chocolate to kick in, dude. Oh, there it is. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Like, oh, okay, there's a pumpkin oh. spice. Okay, this would be good. It reminds me of like those pumpkin spice cookies. Yeah, this would be good milk if it chocolate. wasn't dark chocolate. If it was milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. Milk chocolate. I can... Okay, that was definitely a lot better I like than that the one. one I had. The, that actually wasn't bad. The almond butter one. Yeah, the, well, because that was almond butter, peanut butter, or almond butter, not peanut butter, almond butter, and then dark chocolate. Like, yeah, two yeah. things are like, eh. It's like, I could do the dark chocolate if it was peanut butter, but, like, almond butter, I'm like, nah. Like, that wasn't bad, actually. I like it's that. It's just the dark chocolate. Just the but dark. now it's just, like, I taste, like, cocoa with, like, pumpkin spice. That's good. I like that. It tastes monster. I mean, it. I like that a lot more than I was expecting to I, like I, I liked it more than the almond poo-poo butter. Yeah, what would you rate that on the flavor scale, 1 to 10? Uh... I'll, I'll be nice to give it like a seven and a half. Yeah, see, I mean, I was going to put it right at a, at a seven, honestly. If you had milk chocolate in there, I'd probably get an eight and a half. But, like, if you if I liked dark chocolate, yeah, it would be around an eight, eight and a half because oh, it, yeah. it's solid. You know, If it's you like dark chocolate, you'll so like this. So that's why I am excited now because that's why I was hesitant when they were like, yeah, we'll do this. Like, we'll give you, I was like, 
hesitant at first to like give him a shot because like I just had that like almond butter. Like I was like, I don't want that. Nobody's gonna want it. But honestly, I think There's a lot of you guys there, will man. like it. Yeah, and I think you know I we're kind of the minority when it comes to not liking chocolate, like dark yeah. chocolate and stuff. So I do think a lot of you guys will enjoy this. So um, this is something that we'd be adding on there. Um, adding to the uh, Wellesley Wood. And dark chocolate's like good, supposedly good for you or something. Um, OMG, we have a store near us that is called Your CBD oh, Store. Sorry. It's hemp oil and it's forty dollars to three hundred dollars. Like, holy crap! Like how? Like how? What how much CBD? You, yeah. What size? Is I mean, if bomb? you're paying, if it's three hundred dollars, you better be getting like five, six thousand milligrams of that stuff. Oh, like, dude, that's crazy. I was at the gas station picking up some milk. I oh God! Picking up some milk. I just got like a little container because I didn't want to run to the King Supers. Yeah. And I was at the checkout, dude, and I was this close, this close to buying some CBD products, dude, just for us to oh test out. Oh, my honestly. God. Dude. No. I didn't even, excuse me, literally, that's how upset I am. My body was, like, <laughs> rejecting my response to that because it's like, no. I don't even know if I want to put that in my body. Like, I always tell you guys, that's why we sample products. You know, yeah, sure, I want to expose them to you, but I want you guys to see the fact that, like, I'm not just pushing products on you. Just that I wouldn't try myself. That's why, like, every product that's added to the site, you know, we're trying. Yeah. I want you guys to see, like, uh, why would I sell you something that I don't feel safe consuming myself or that I wouldn't consume myself, you know? Now, I didn't like dark chocolate, but good thing I did try this because yeah. I ended up liking it more than I expected to. So, I, we test them to mainly, to obviously expose you guys to new products and show them to you, but it's mainly just to show you that, like, we have faith in these products, you know. The lab results stand up. Everything matches up to our high quality expectations. So here we are, literally consuming it into our oh. own bodies. Yeah. Sue said, I don't know if she forgot a zero, but she said, nope, 100 milligrams for $300. Are, is it 100? Like, is it really 100? Did you forget to add a zero? A zero? I mean, even still for a thousand, dude? That's the issue, though. What do you is, get? What is that? That is the issue when you are shopping at a brick and mortar, unfortunately. They do I will get, raise the prices, you know? So do I get, like, I pay $300, and then do I get, like, $220 gift card or something of these again? <laughs> Better. But, I mean, that's a massive markup, Sue, because I know, like, the cost of manufacturing these products. That's, that's insane. That's gouging their customers. Even if I'll give I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, 1,000 milligrams for $300, that's a joke. You could buy full, basically four Wellesley 1,000 milligram yeah. tinctures for that price. Yeah. You know, because ours are 80. It's just like, I think you guys are seeing, it's like our super chews, 1,000 milligrams plus 80. That's I'm trying, I'm trying to maintain some um, price consistency in regards to strength content, no matter what type of delivery system there mm -hmm. is. I mean, obviously there might be some differences just because some products do require, uh, they are more expensive to manufacture and to make. Um, but you know, that's, I do my best to, you know, Bring, save on our manufacturing costs while ensuring highest quality so then I can pass those savings on to you. I'm not like, oh, let's just like, we just saved, you know, this is literally, I'm just throwing out an arbitrary number. We just saved $17 per unit on our on our gummies. Um, let's keep the price the same. No, like I, I want to share, you know, the savings with you guys. I mean, I want you, I'm here to get our products and spread awareness around CBD and just get them into as many people's po in, as many hands as possible. So, and I understand that, you know, not everybody's a millionaire. I'm not a millionaire. Cam's not a millionaire. Unfortunately, I'm hoping one day he'll be a millionaire. I don't know. Um, got to take, care, have to be the gotta take care of me, dude. Like shit. Maybe I get, Gary did say going to acting. Going to, should I go to Hollywood for a few you years? You could go to Hollywood. I mean, hey, if I go, when I go to LA, when I meet with our, um, you know, that agency that uh, is working uh, with us to get big box, uh, oh, you yeah. can come out to uh, LA with me. Go get some auditions, dude. Yeah, but yeah, guys. So um, I, I don't know really where I was going with uh, that rant, but you know, I would just. Cam, Cam distracted me, so I kind of like lost my train of thought. <laughs> like, what was I just talking about? Uh, Sue, and the oh, $300 yeah, <laughs> that whole thing. Yeah, the price saving stuff. That's that's insane. That <laughs> even with a thousand milligrams, Sue, that's a joke. Like, I would literally go laugh at their face. I understand a slight markup because it is a uh, brick and mortar, but not that much of a markup. Not a thousand percent markup. That's nuts. Mm -mm -mm. All right. 
Um, we're gonna do these. Are we? Yeah, we're just gonna try these guys. Are you give them a shot? Yeah, who's it even from? What's the company uh, even called? Bad Dates? Bad Drip is the vape side. Well, the there. company is called Bad Days, I'm gonna say, because it says it right here. Bad Days, they're a vape company. Um, and now they're getting their CBD. These are their Tropical CBD Chewables Vegan. And I believe these are a broad spectrum when I last looked at them. Um, zero T. This is the weirdest CBD shop I've ever seen. What? Your CBD store? This is the PSU. Oh, put yeah. it down below. Some bougie it. place. Like this that. is bougie, dude. Yeah, it's bougie, but like, I. Not. $300. Not $300. Well, like, look at their shelving, dude. They got like four products. <laughs> That's insane, Sue. I would laugh in their face. Sue, go talk to them and say you guys want a oh, product products. that's actually going to sell. Um, well, let's see. That's what you need. Um, so these are bad days. They're Tropic uh, CBD edibles, and they're really, like, vegan. Like, they just look like these, like, little squares. Um, tropical CBD. Let's – so – I just don't know, like, what they mean by tropical. She wasn't lying, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. No, no, no. That's 100 milligrams per serving. Oh, so how much 12? So it's 3,000 milligrams. Is it? Oh, yeah, because it's 3 mil bottle. It's 3,000 milligrams. It's 100 milligrams per serving, Sue. But still, that seems like a lot. Still. That is a lot. P is, what do we sell? P is the... I mean, those are 60 mils, but... Those go for what? I think they're like 120. 120? Yeah. So. But I mean, regardless, you can still get three. Th you can buy three bottles of the Wellesley full spectrum CBD oil for cheaper than that. And you can get 3,000 milligrams. That's too. crazy, dude. That is a large, large markup. Um, okay. But yeah, that's why I asked, you know. Um, those just taste like tang. Like if tang was in like a gummy, that's what it just tastes like. Do you get salt and pepper aftertaste? I could see that. I always get salt and pepper after this. I could see that for sure. But, like, I don't know. I don't, they are very natural. I don't really like them. I mean, like, they just... They're just weird. They're, yeah, they are strange. They're weird consistency for yeah. sure. Um, I mean, it just reminds me... Does it remind you, like, Tang? Like, orange juice? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't get... I don't know what... They could should it's called it orange, like orange gummies. Like I don't get any other tropic flavor in there besides your orange. Damn. Their topical cream is eighty dollars. Um. Oh yeah. See, Sue. So, yeah, they're very, very expensive. Damn. Cam's, OG. Cam's doing a little uh, Stocking. A little look uh, at it. Um. Yeah, Marge. You replying to Laura? Try the ten pack they just came out with. Yeah, boys and girls, I did that for you guys and Margie. I specifically made the tumblers for you because you were requesting it. So I got you covered. What you guys ask, um, I do my best to get taken care of for you. Um, Tanya Hager said pumpkin spice yuck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, see, I see. I don't mind pumpkin spice stuff. I'm, uh, I'm a fan of it for sure. Um, no, they lost me after. No, when they came out with pop tarts, dude, and like yeah. cereal, I'm like, alright, you guys are pushing it, pushing it a little, pushing. Bit. It. Uh, Laura A Bailey says, I love all things pumpkin. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, I see you guys talking about pre rolls. Um, yeah, guys, I mean, honestly, um, that's kind of put on the back burner. I'm, you guys don't understand what's going on in the industry with the smokable, with the flower. Um, you know, with U.S. pending USDA regulation changes, so. Um, I'm not rolling flour out until I know um, a definitive result from that because it could complete it could it could change the game honestly guys um, so that that's why um, you haven't seen them you know um, I haven't rolled them out because we are, I am waiting to see what's gonna happen with this so um, that's why guys long story we short. just want to make sure we're 100 percent good I just want to make yeah. sure we're all above board you know we're following regulations and stuff um, you know I would hate to go through this entire process get labels make all this product and then shit has to change you know total THC it goes from Delta 9 THC to total THC ratings and then it completely null and void the flower we have or whatever you know so this is stuff that going on I don't expect you guys to understand what's going on or know that this is going on but that's why um so you know it's not something where i can just like push a button and all of a sudden see you know pre-rolls are just out you know we we have them we sell them it's just i mean you know we're still kind of waiting on sort of the final design of our labels but i mean that's really it and then it's obviously manufacturing them which we do anyways so 
Um, but I'm just waiting to see about this USDA regulation yep. change. Yep. Honestly, guys. So that's where the pre rolls are at. Uh, 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 whatever. Go ahead and shout. Yeah, it yeah. Out like me. shout. Like give me a scream at shout you. Shout it out. Um, oh, Dougie Fresh. Good to see you, Doug Bergman, my man. Just walked out of a vape slash CBD shop. Dude had a company called In Blue. CBD full spectrum and right under the full spectrum and said zero THC. Ella, I did not feel like sitting there lecturing the owner, so just said thanks and walked out. Well, I might have to call that CBD shop and I will do the lecturing, Doug, and say, hey, you want a product that's actually accurately labeled and what you see on the label is actually what's in the bottle? Well, let's see, has your back. Um, yeah, Doug, that's that's a shame, man. Is Oh, because customers, when you guys, obviously you guys are educated around all this stuff but if you weren't if you guys didn't have this show and you guys walked into these stores and you know you saw you would be extremely confused because you see all this stuff and you're like wait a second i hear full spectrum like i thought i was supposed to have thc but you're just saying thc free it's just like this goes to show that the owner of that shop manufacture that product doesn't know what the hell they're talking about it's just like last night on instagram no joke i shit you not i wish josh arnett was in here because him and i were going back and forth on this um there was a company a i'm not even gonna give them uh recognition um unfortunately they do have my name in it but uh um, <laughs> you know hey whatever but they literally posted something like oh like there's so many mislabeled products out there like a true broad spectrum and then they literally had like the different types like they had, you know, the crude broad spectrum, you know, and then the distillate. And then they literally had isolate, broad spectrum isolate. That was the dumbest thing I think I have ever seen a company post. Like, I literally went at it with them. I was going back and forth. Like, the person whoever was running their page, I don't know if it's the owner or what, like, had to have hated me or hated me and hate me to this day because, like, I wasn't taking that bullshit. I was like... So you're telling me there is such thing as a broad spectrum isolate. Like maybe you should look up what the definition of isolate means. Like isolated, bro. Like singular. Like there's one. It's not like. And then they tried to say, oh, <laughs> a CBD isolate is a uh, or a broad spectrum isolate is a uh, CBD with CBDV. And I was like, what kind of yeah. arbitrary information are you throwing out here? Like this is ridiculous. Like. It, it, I was like, oh my, like they had broad spectrum typologies. They had whole plant, distillate, and isolate. It's like, what? Like, it's like, whole, I mean, whole plant extract, you know, that's full spectrum. And then, you know, distillate, there could be a THC, you know, a full spectrum distillate, broad spectrum distillate. And then the fact that they have isolate on there and say there's a broad spectrum isolate, holy crap, I can't tell you how funny i thought it was but yet how angry it made me at the fact that they were trying to act like oh we know something we're so much smarter than all these other companies but really they're <laughs> spreading lies themselves and i was like how can you guys be in this industry when you guys aren't educated and you guys are literally just spreading lies? did you guys just sit in a room and like throw something at the wall and just yep this sounds good let's put this on a picture and post it on instagram nobody will know until how'd you find that post Oh, I'm always looking. on that shit. I'm yeah. I track hashtags and stuff. I'm That's watching. What I, thought, yeah. I wa I'm literally on social. I don't even get on social media for my personal shit anymore. Like, <laughs> I'm CBD. literally doing CBD shit. I'm doing research. I'm in groups. I'm on Instagram engaging. You know, I'm fucking around on TikTok. TikTok is fun. <laughs> um, that video. Little different. Yeah, little different content. Oh, you like the one that I uh, this you, morning? Yeah. Dude. Did you guys <laughs> like that little video that I did today on uh, Instagram? I posted on Facebook. You know, like oh. Hey, you guys like that? I figured you guys would get a little kick out of that. I wanted to have a little bit of fun. Um, but for real, guys, like that, that, that type of shit, like that's why I'm out there. Like that's why these MLMs, like, and all these CBD groups I'm in, every time an MLM posts something, I am on there just roasting, tearing the sh just tearing them to shit because they don't know anything. It's and I'm not trying to sit up here and say I know everything. I, we're the smartest CBD brand because we don't know. I still have a lot to learn too. But it's just like. If you're going to put yourself in an authoritative position and try to educate or even sell these products, you should at least know the basics or yeah. more than the basics. You should know than the you should know more than the average consumer is what I'm trying to say. It's like if you're just, if you're not willing to educate yourselves around these products, potential benefits, use cases, so on and so forth, then get the hell out of the industry and go sell something.
else that doesn't require you to understand this information because it is your responsibility as the business owner to know this information so you can factually and accurately recommend CBD products and educate your consumers. This is what we have. This is why, you know, all these new shops that pick us up, I always tell them, I say, I'm not just going to let you, I'm not just going to call you and say, here's the product. I'll call you in a month when you need to reorder. No. Any new shop that picks us up, I'm literally calling them and I will train their employees on how to best sell their products, how to, you know, which products are best for certain situations, when to recommend this, when to recommend that, because it all starts with education, guys. If those shop employees aren't educated by the brands that they're selling, then of course they're not going to give you factual information because do you think those, um, you know, just those vape shops or even CBD shop employees, those kids that work there um, are going to go home and research? I mean, if they're passionate about it, sure. But if not, then that's just a paycheck. So um, that's why I take such a large stance on educating you guys, but I also educate our wholesale clients, our retail clients as well, so then that they can pass on that factual and accurate educational information to their consumers. Woo! There's my rant for the day, everybody. I was confused when I first started taking CB until I found Eden, and Stuart Wells said, agreed, it is a very confusing subject that not a lot of people understand. It can be hard to find the right information. Well, guys, I'm here for you to help you in any way that I possibly can because I understand. I put myself in these shoes. I understand how confusing this industry is and how much misinformation there is out there. So that's why we do these live streams, you know, and try and do all, not even just live streams, but educational videos, product reviews. That's why we do so many of these um you know, and honestly, I always say this. I, I don't know of very many. I don't know of another brand that puts up the level of video content, educational content that we do on a regular basis. And it's because of you guys for supporting us and um, you know, watching this stuff. Because if you guys didn't watch, then I would just yeah, be well, sitting up here talking to myself. Yeah. Um, so I'm just happy that you guys um, do trust us and you guys do believe in us. So thank you very, very much, uh, Lori. Cam wants to know if we do yoga. Who said Lori Cam? Lori Cam. It was an earlier comment. It's gone now. Oh, Lori I Cam. Remember. No, I do not. I've been do wanting yoga. to get not yoga because you know I'm not into. I do want to increase flexibility. Like I do try and do stretches. Well, every I do day, like stretches every, every morning and every night before I go to bed. But I want to get into meditation. Dude. No, yeah, meditation's good. Um, like go out during the summer, go in the backyard. Yeah, dude. and you get just get, That's what I'm. Yeah. Saying. I mean, I, watch I the just, sun come up. I don't know. It's hard. Like, I understand that, you know, people benefit a lot from meditation and yoga. I just, like, my brain, I li I can't shut it off. Like, I can't just, like, hum and go into, like, my, my zen mode and then just, like, shut off. It's, like, my brain is, like, just, like, ex the constant anxiety of just, like, I, I need this to do this for work, this for work, this for work. And it's just my mind's always running. So, I mean, maybe I should actually try it before. But that's just how I feel But we got to incorporate myself. THC into it. Of course, of course. But, you know, it, Ooh. I, see, I, I don't know. Maybe I should try it and then I'll let you guys know. Do you guys do yoga and meditation? Anyone in here? If you guys do, let me know. Um, would you recommend it? Positive results? Neutral results? I don't think there's any negative results associated with it. I watched broken. this guy on a podcast, and he was, like, like back in, like, high school. He's, like, 24. Uh-huh. Back in, like, high school, he was, like, a huge partier, like, drank, smoked, did all that. And, and then he got, to like, really big into meditation, dude, and now he's just, like, a hippie and lives in Hawaii. <laughs> dude, just, like, he's just, like, all about, like, just zen and self up. I'm like, I want that. <laughs> Chill in Hawaii, just like let's go meditate. Yes. Having a good, having a good time. John O'Hara, I saw you say something about how much CBD ice like, could you get for three hundred bucks? I mean, like eight to ten grams, honestly. An isolate. Yeah. I mean, it, it depends, you know. Uh, well, that's. Uh, I mean, that's yeah, usually a half gram. I mean, it really depends. Some. I mean, I think we were, you know, when we were selling our isolate, I think we were doing it for like forty bucks. 40, 45, I don't know. I believe <laughs> um, is what we were doing. You know, usually you could usually get about probably. I mean, if you're buying it in bulk, especially John, you could probably get a little bit more than maybe ten to twelve grams. Um, but you know, that's so. I mean, that they're definitely um, that shop that Sue told us about. That's that's insane. Um, don't go there. <laughs> don't go there. Josh Arnett, my man, you just missed my little rant about um, the broad spectrum isolate that I was chatting you about last night. Um, 
it really got me heated. I did go sort of on a on a mad rant with that one for sure. I saw the I saw a bunch of heart emojis and shit going mm-hmm. off when I was like in my prime of that mm-hmm. rant. So I was like, yeah, the people. I'm giving the people what they want. I, I honestly think you guys do enjoy that. What? Yeah, it says. I mean, Allium says she does yoga and meditation. I mean, yoga trapeze and yeah. meditation. I don't know what a yoga trapeze is. Is it that? Is it the is swingy it, thing? Is you it gotta swing. swing? That's dope. Is I don't know. I'm house? just throwing shit out. Um, I'm guessing. Yeah, and then Carrie said, Carrie Newman, I do yoga and meditation and guided meditation. Yep. Absolutely love it. Life changing. Yeah. See, I want to get into it. Just you like how we were talking about, um, like we were also talking about uh, going to like garage sales during the summer, dude. Oh, yeah. Like, dude, there's just like, this summer, dude. Just, like, I wanna hit it. Oh, yeah. I want to hit it, dude. Uh, I want to hit it. <laughs> Sue, Sue said, I hear their ads on the radio. I can't go there because they're full of bull. <laughs> Josh said he needs to get with you after about uh, for an order. Josh Arnett. Yeah, Josh Arnett. My man. All right. And actually, speaking of, oh, I don't have it. I left it in my office. Um, Josh Arnett sent me a wonderful tincture that um, – his shop manufactures, um, and it was I, it was really really good. You know, it was uh, I, I was interested because when I opened it, I was like, all right, the label checks out. I love it. Everything I need on it, um, and I look at it. It's full spectrum, so I pulled out, and I'm like, it's clear. I'm like, holy oh. shit! Like this guy, and then I was like, this guy did something, and I was like, so I think, and I was like, I think I know the answer, but I'm gonna ask him. And then so I messaged Josh, and I was like, how'd you do this? And I think he said. Um, I may be wrong on the number, but I believe you said triple distilled. So then the chlorophyll, which is actually, you know, the coloring aspect of it, has completely removed. Hmm. So it's clear. Um, and I will say, Josh, I don't know the exact terpene profile in there, but um, I felt like I tasted a little bit of uh, like a sort of like a limonene or like a mycerine sort of uh, taste in there. I could be wrong, but I felt like I was tasting a little bit like sort of like le- citrusy kind of flavor associated with it. So that's just what I thought. But Josh, that was a really solid tincture. Um, I'll chat with you about that. Maybe it's something we can get, uh, you know, at least up on the Wellesley website to get it out there. Um, but we will chat, obviously, uh, after the show. So, But thank you, Josh, for sending that. He sent it to me um, because he was like, I know you'll be honest and you'll actually critique the shit out of this. Um, and I did, you know, he asked me, I, I had it for a few days and I was like, dude, just give me a couple more days. Give me a couple more days. I, I want to, I want to try it. You know, I don't want to just try it once and say it's good or bad. Um, uh, but Josh, I, it definitely passed my test and I would use it. I even used some this morning. So, um, nicely done on that, my man. Um, all right. I'm on a, s- Stuart Wells said, so glad, so glad you guys are on that page all. I'm on a seven-day Facebook group band. Damn, Stuart Wells, what were you doing? Being naughty, naughty? Margie, okay. Yeah, Margie, I was confused when I first started taking CBD until I found Eden. Well, thank you, Margie. I love you. I'm happy uh, that we could educate you. John Ojeda, thank you. Nice-looking tumblers. I appreciate it. Um, Keep an eye out for stuff like that. I'm going to keep adding more and more sort of swag items. I literally even saw um, we can get... uh, um, what is it? Like those welcome mats, you know, when you walk to somebody's front door, like a, a Wellesy welcome mat. Like I thought, I, I was like, maybe I should just get one for my office at home. That's what I would want. I just want like my office to just be Wellesy everything. Yeah, I mean, you guys got to just watch the live stream last week. What was it, Monday night? Was that Monday night? I don't know. I think know, it was man. last Monday. You know, when I went I live know. for like two hours in the middle of the night. Um, you guys really loved that. Um, uh, Lori said, I saw a stupid thing on Want CBD, get into our MLM company. I didn't look at it enough to know what company it was. Yeah, don't, I mean, I don't even give those people the time of day. I mean, maybe I do give them a little more time than they deserve because I just, I don't know. I call them out. I don't bash them. I mean, I'm not like, hey, you're a piece of shit, but it's like, <laughs> I call them out on factual information. And it's just like, and when I, or I pretend that I'm an interested consumer and then I ask them a question, and then they completely butcher it. And the, and then when I say like when I make myself known, or like when I know my that I actually know what I'm talking about, they like start backtracking. Oh, this is just like what my upstream person told me, or this is just what's on the website. And it's mm-hmm. like so you never thought to go out and just ask questions or educate yourself. Like you just thought you could sit at home, kick back, post in a CBD group, and people are gonna start buying your MLM garbage. Mm-hmm. Like get out of here. Uh, Laura Bailey. Laura A. Bailey. Laura A. Bailey. Correct that. Um, Sorry, Laura. He. She had a previous question. Okay. Uh, Basically, 
What would you recommend for sleep, and what's the right dosage? So, that will vary from person to person. You know, like, I can take, you know, like some, I mean, like even my anxiety, some of the, one of the days, or I think it was last week, or beginning of this week, I think it was last week, I got up to like 100 milligrams, you know. Some people will get tired off of that. Some need to take more. Um, but what I would recommend, again, start low. 250? Start with You can start with the 250, because guess what? You can take a 1,000, you know, you can scale that. You know, there could be 250, but it's like, you could make it so, like, you would get, like, a 1,000 milligram dosing. So if you have the 250, one milliliter of that is 8.33 milligrams of that. So if you did three dropper folds of that, that would be 33.33 milligrams of CBD, the equivalent of one milliliter of the 1,000 milligrams. So if you start at the 250, it's cost-effective, you know, 30 bucks. And then it's got, you know, that full spectrum in there, you know, has some of that minor and then CBN. You know, I'm really starting to pay attention, guys. CBN is that cannabinoid that seems most effective for sleep. THC plays a role, you know, CBD, but CBN is getting a lot of attention. So that's something that I'm kind of keeping an eye on, maybe, you know, potentially rolling something out like a CBN um, isolated sleep tincture, maybe with some CBD and CBG in there. We'll see. You know, stuff like that's very scientific and very sort of a little bit down the line, but that's where my mind is at right now. Um, but I would recommend our full spectrum, well, let's see, um, CBD or full spectrum hemp extract and MCT oil. Um, that's available in natural and chocolate. Mint. Of course, you can do 500 or 1,000, especially if you're using it for sleep. Um, you know, the 250 and stuff, a lot of that, the start low and increase as needed. Um, a lot of that is for people, you know, are obviously taking it during the day because you yeah. don't want to be sleepy at work. Um, but, you know, just for the cost-effective standpoint, I would recommend starting with the 250, just like I always do. And then if you need to, you can always scale it. You know, if you're not sleepy, then you just take a little bit more. That's the best part about a tincture is it goes into effect in about 15 to 30 minutes. So ideally, when you're getting ready to do, you know, your bed, bedtime routine, you know, brush your teeth, do whatever you do, um, take it right before you start that bedtime routine. So by the time you're winding down, the CBD is starting to assimilate into your endocannabinoid system. Whew, that was a long-winded answer. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> And that all came from my brain, guys. Woo! Have you seen anything new about, uh, because Josh Arnett said something. Josh said, Arnett. He said CB, uh. CBG? Or he said CBN. 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 But then that made me start. CBG, CBC, and CBN are the cannabinoids that I'm really paying attention to. Minors. But I, w I wanted to ask something. Have you heard anything about, uh, what was it, THC? Oh, THCP and CBD. No, nope, that research is still. In the, you know, that was the only study. Was so, it? um, you know, they're probably still studying it. We're waiting to, for results to come out. That was I a have, couple weeks ago. It was December thirtieth is wow. when they discovered it. Wow. Mo, so a month ago. See, look oh, at that Jesus. recall. Look at that memory recall. Um, if you guys are familiar, if you guys are interested in learning about those minor cannabinoids, you know, CBG, go check out. Well, our CBD knowledge episode four, the varying cannabinoids and the benefits of each. It's, I literally sit there for like an hour, guys. That thing took me like almost a month to compile. And I sit there for like an hour and I walk through all the, I mean, there's hundreds, you know, I can't walk through all of them. And plus, you know, studies are scarce for a lot of those or non-existent because they're so minor. Um, but you know, those, the major, uh, this is going to be sound weird, but the major minor cannabinoids that are predominantly found in the cannabis and hemp plant, um, those are all discussed in, uh, CBD knowledge episode for the varying cannabinoids and the benefits of each. And that is available right now live. You can watch it recorded on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Make sure you guys check that out. I, you know, I don't, I love talking about this stuff, but honestly, I do it for you guys. So Make sure you guys check it out. Cam, you can post it in there if you would like. Um, all right. Um, I got you guys. Yep, Cam will come in there. You'll see my uh, little Which face. Uh, four? Number four, yeah. And, yeah, going to have a CBD knowledge. God, I hate how don't, stupid play all. Yep, that one right there. It's literally 49 minutes and 40 seconds of me sitting there and talking. Um, and I posted Look how that. Long your hair was. Yeah, my hair is long as hell oh, in that now picture. I was long, dude. My hair was really long in that picture or video. It was uh, from like a year ago, honestly. Um, so, guys, as you guys can see, if you guys are brand new, this isn't, you know, education. This educational format isn't something new for Wellesley. This is literally something that has been a part of the company since we launched. So, um, we launched with um, education. At, at the forefront of everything, obviously. So uh, that's, you know, we, we take education very, very seriously here, guys. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, Josh Arnett. I tasted it. Mycerine, li uh, limoline, and humaline. So I was correct on the mycerine and the limoline. I was very, very... Look at that. My taste oh. buds are serving me right. Thank you, Josh. But nicely done on that, my man. I do have to applaud you guys on that tincture. Impressed. I do. I would be interested in trying a thousand milligrams. Um, vape, Drake Vape says, dripping the thousand milligram under my tongue right now. Are you doing the uh, strawberry Jake Vapes? This is on Instagram. Uh, Andrew Bolden says, Bill Nye saves the world, has an episode on THC and CBD. All right, Does Andrew. Really? Yeah, Andrew, Andrew Bolden just said that. Andrew, my man. No freaking Kill a hemp review. CBD dabs today, LOL. Well, it's funny you guys asked that because look what I brought. I literally bring this every single week, every single Wednesday now just for you guys because um, I, you guys will always ask about dabbing CBD, so um, I do it just for you guys. Bill Nye, what a guy, dude. Bill Nye's amazing, but Jake Vapes, you're doing the strawberry? I know he, he literally sent me a voice message the other day. He's like, yo, that strawberry thousand milligram is bomb. And I was like, hell yeah, man. So, and then uh, they, somebody, somebody was, I forgot who he said was doing it. Um, was doing the, th was just chiefing on the thousand milligram. And he's what like, I keep telling him to stop. And then like 20 minutes later, I was like, how's he feeling? He's like, ah, he's chilled out now. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's what'll happen. It's the same thing, uh, you know, like one of my, uh, when we first launched Wellacy, uh, one of my business partners, Corey, um, they were like, yeah, like, let's try these, these products, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, all right. And then I just like, I didn't think, I just like grabbed a thousand milligram and I didn't like tell them and they just like did a full drop. And then like I come back like an hour later and he's just like, why am I so sleepy? And I was like, did you do the full drop? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, oh shit. Like, probably should have started with less, but you know, here we are. So, um, you know, that's, you know, that's why we recommend that you start low and gradually increase as needed because I don't want you to be at work or at school or driving for that matter and just get sleepy i mean you're not just gonna like, pass out but like you'll start like feeling drowsy and sleepy and you know you don't want to do that when you're at work so yeah um yeah marjorie i mean nor why is the wall blank to the left of cam yeah i mean normally we'll have like a oh i need to get one of those stand-up banners it's just like you know we were kind of we were using the studio. Like, I use this studio guys to, like, film review videos and stuff. So, like, I move the couch around and stuff. So, um, you know, that that's why. But, I mean, you know, that's just a sidewall. I'll put, like, a little banner or something right there for you guys. Uh, Stuart Wells says, my baby girl is awake and now watching with me. Both of you getting educated, Stuart Wells. Um, let's see. Chris, uh, Chris said I need to get one of those. Yeah, yeah, Joshua and CBN. Yeah, man, CBN is a big, big, um, paying attention to that right now as research continues. I'm excited, especially as, you know, I start isolating stuff. Um, yeah, Jake Babe said yes, strawberry. And John's now chilled out a bit. John, it was John. Okay, I couldn't remember if it was John or not. Um, and Jake says he was chiefing the grape. <laughs> um... Laura A. Bailey, awesome information. Thank you so much. You are so welcome, Laura. They, or Laura, excuse me. I apologize. Thank you for tuning in and, you know, choosing to spend your personal time with us. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, Margie Higgins, or should I say Homer Simpson, chocolate mint half dropper of a thousand milligram works for me. Yeah, Margie, why is it Homer Simpson? Uh, that's her nickname from BBS. Homer? Yep. Really? Yep. Interesting. All uh, right. And also, Jake, I believe you will want me. I don't know if it's the Vape Vape show. It's one of your shows that you're live stream. You want to have me on there? I think that's. Pretty, I think next uh, Monday. Um, you know. I'm busy. Let man. me know. You're busy. What? You're not busy. Yeah, you're not busy. You're not too it busy. It has to for do with Jake, Jake Vapes. Then no, yeah, you're not busy. too busy for Jake. <laughs> Always busy <laughs> when Jake needs something. Um. Let me see. I want to just listen to a few at first to find whose voice. I get it. Oh. I'm talking about meditation. Oh, okay. You guys talk. Oh, like the guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah the meditation. Guy. I don't know. I feel like I would need, like, 
Jake vapes. Like, I feel like if I was doing some, like, guided meditation, like, if I just had, like, your voice, you know, you speaking in a calm, like, voice, just, like... Um, I yeah. <laughs> I would want, like, a nice, like... I would want somebody with a nice accent, for sure, you know? Like, Jake Vapes, if you were just in your soothing, you know... Yeah, dude, your, a British accent, dude. Something. Oh, man, I bet, yo, just, like... They have done studies that, like, that is, like, the most, like, sort of... Like, in regards to, like, sort of inducing, like, relaxation listeners, like, that that, that mm-hmm. accent is oh. the one that does it, yeah. Crystal Bell Martinez, love how down-to-earth you guys are. I enjoy being here. Oh, thank you. You know, I try not to be douchey, um, <laughs> you know, but I'm glad you uh, see that. I mean, there, there's, there's, you guys probably are exposed to enough douchey people in your lives, so I don't need to be, you know, douchey. So, and I, I just don't like douchiness. <laughs> it's just douchey. So, um, yeah, that's just douchey. Yeah, that, <laughs> I don't. But thank you so much. You know, I like to just be honest. I want you guys to relate to us on a personal level. Like, I'm look. You guys are all our friends and everything. I hope to one day be able to seriously ah. shake each and every single one of you guys' hands, whether um, you guys are in Colorado and you visit the shop or. We're at a trade show and you guys show up. Whatever it is, I mean, hey, if any of you guys are out here for 420 this year, Cam and I will be down at the rally. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll be down at the rally. We're going to be, we gonna be high. Yeah, <laughs> we're yeah, going to yeah, be real yeah. high. Oh, my goodness. It was a good time last year. It's just me and him ago. Yeah. We just get some brother brother time, you know? There we go. Rachel Valley says, I really want to try the grape. The grape, I mean, out of our isolate line, like, you guys love that grape. Uh, <laughs> Jake Vapes, yes. Next Monday, 9 p.m. UK time. Yes, yeah, so three, four, my, two or three my time. Yeah, I don't have a calming voice. LOL. I sound like a cat going through a wood chipper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Allium says oh. love when you guys are love Thank you Allium I'm just kidding I saw you correct it and say live But I know you love when we're love So it's fine We mentioned 420 and Doug Bergman pops in Dougie Fresh <laughs> my man yeah, 420 Dougie. whole month Yeah Dougie my man I, Oh man Doug I love you dude you're a great man. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> Laurie ba- Laura Bailey said you should come out to Seattle, Washington for our 420 Fest. Okay, okay. I'll bring some Colorado Kush. You get your Kush. You can road trip it. We'll have a good time. All right. I actually have never. I've always wanted to go to uh, Seattle. See, dude, that's I've never what I'm been. saying. I've never. I've been. seen every episode of Grey's Anatomy. So. Oh I'm just my like, God, <laughs> dude. Oh. Uh, Margie, love that pic of you licking the bathroom. Yeah, guys, I like doing... I hope you guys, like, honestly get a laugh out of stuff like this because it just shows that I don't take myself too seriously. That's why I do funny things like that or I hope you think... That, they're funny to me, so, like, I mean, it, it. I hope it gets your attention more than anything is, you know, it's like, why is Eden licking a bath bomb? Like, has he lost his mind? I'm not telling you that you should consume bath bombs by licking it. I'm just saying, hey, don't do this. And I just wanted to stop you in your tracks while you're scrolling through social media. There's too much uh, similar content out there, so I figured a dude with blonde hair licking a bath bomb would, you know, catch your attention. It would catch mine. Carrie Newman, I'm so old. No, you are not, Carrie Newman. It's all a mindset. It's all a mindset. Like, look at Betty White, dude. Laura A. Bailey, I would love to check out some hashtag Wellesy products. Yes, I love you guys mm-hmm. for doing the hashtag Wellesy. Krista Martinez, hashtag Wellesy is amazing. Thank you all. Doug you guys. Bergman, Wellesy Tide Pods. Oh, my God, Doug. Doug, bringing up the Tide Pods again, man. Like, shit. Like, uh, well, this is a good question. Yes. Laura A. Bailey, do the bath bombs really work, though, and work how? So, bath bombs, you can think of them like a topical. So, you have endocannabinoid receptors, or cannabino, excuse me, cannabinoid receptors on the layers of your skin and your body all through all over the place. So, just like when you rub lotion and it provides that localized relief, you know, a CBD infused topical, and it, say you have elbow pain, and you know, not all the time, but you know, it, it can help with relieving pain or even with psoriasis, eczema, you know, skin health issues. By taking a ba- by putting a bath bomb in the tub. You are activating, that CBD is activated once you put it in there, and then you're literally soaking. So the CBD is then being soaked in through the cannabinoid receptors on your skin. So, you know, it's going to provide, basically, it's going to provide that relaxation throughout your body. Now, it's not being absorbed into your bloodstream like an oil, but since you're soaking your entire body in a tub of CBD, 
you can potentially get some relief from it, relaxation benefits. You know, we have a lot of people, um, you know, that use, even for their children, use these bath bombs for psoriasis and eczema and skin health conditions, and they've noticed that it does help them. So um, that is why, that is some of the potential use cases surrounding a bath bomb. If you need any further explanation, please let me know. And I saw somebody uh, comment, uh, it was nice seeing you guys on the <laughs> uh, VVS. Thank you, yes, Jake, we appreciate you um, get featuring us on there, my man. Um, you know, I hope we can do that some more. Um, you know, I definitely want to, uh, those of you guys out in the UK, I want to be able to get our products out there to you guys as soon as possible. <laughs> Stuart what? Wells, Cam wants a bite of Betty White, and I was like, Betty White can break my heart any day. He's like, I'll break your heart, darling. <laughs> I was like, oh, baby. <laughs> oh, Stuart's in the house. Uh, oh, man. Oh, oh VVS because of Marge Simpson. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, Jake. Oh, yeah, see, it see. took me a second. We're good. You caught up to the rest of the party. Yep. Okay. Yep. Trains leaving the station, bro. <laughs> I, like, I hopped on, dude. I was like the Polar Express. That kid that was running. Uh, yeah. Rachel, you know, things. I wish I could meditate. Never been able to. That's how I feel, honestly. I just, I, I don't know. I tried, and then I always go into, and then I start oming, and then I'm like, um, and just, I just <laughs> lose focus, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm back, you wellness warriors. Doug Bergman is back. Uh, got watched the show with my wife. Uh, John Ojeda said, so my 30 year old daughter, uh, I got, oh, I got to watch the show with my wife, and I, she started enjoying some flour with us, but she still prefers the THC. I mean, does she like. I mean, does she like smoking that head flour with you guys and then smoking a THC joint? Because, I mean, that. Yeah, you know, that's really taking that entourage effect to the next <laughs> level. Like, you know, I tell you guys, I dab THC, you know, and then I like to dab my isolate on there. So, uh, would you guys like us to dab a little bit of uh, um, CBD? <laughs> Carrie said, "Thanks for not being douchey." You're welcome, mm -hmm. Carrie. Um, I pre I'm just yeah. I'm ha I'm happy you guys don't want me to be a douchey <laughs> person. So. Stuart uh, Wells. What Stuart? How man? can you not want Cam? He's too pretty. <laughs> oh my god. Stuart, I right. I think we should all just leave the live stream and let Stuart and Cam have their little like. Oh, and then Allium said that she, um, her mom is using the uh, stuff she did for the review yes. video. Yes, yes, Allium. Yes. So I guess let us know how she likes yes, it. Yes, she, she. I'm assuming yes. She just probably started using it. Just make sure. Yeah. Use it consistency every, every single day. Look, Cam's learning. Cam is learning. Guys, should we dab a little bit? Are people saying dab, dab, dab? Go for it. Yes. Lindsay Hipple wants to see the dab. Okay, guys. Now, next question. Look, I love getting all of you guys involved in this. Okay? I got a few options. So, we did the Pineapple Express last time. We got Girl Scout cookies. We got Girl Scout cookies, yeah. Sour Diesel, and Grape Ape. Which terpsilate should we dab today? So, if you want Sour Diesel, type SD or Sour Diesel. If you want Girl Scout cookies, type Girl Scout. If you want Grape Ape, type Grape Ape. I want to see. Um, yep, see, Lori Cam, that's exactly what I say. Um, <laughs> what? Is that a this yeah, comment? Yeah, get a room. Yeah, <laughs> Stuart Cam, get a room. All right, guys, tell Cam what you want. I need to get my computer charger because this is going to go on for a little bit longer. The hold. I already forgot the strands. Right there. Girl Scout cookies. What's PE again? Pineapple Express. Pineapple Express. Grape Express. Okay. Sour Diesel. All right, so Lindsay Hipple, Girl Scout cookie. Thank you. Tanya Lynn Hager, Girl Scout. Josh Arnett said Girl Scout. We got to do it. Everyone's saying Girl Scout, dude, because they all love me, and they all know I want some Girl Scout. Let's see. Girl Scout, see. Oh, is Aspen coming in? Um, Baby A. Do you want to come in, Aspen? Do you want to be on the show? <laughs> Aspen doesn't want to be on the show. Come on. No? All right. I'm sorry, guys. I tried to get Aspen. Jake Vapes. Hashtag Cam sucks. Blow me. Kiss you, pretty boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Everyone said Girl Scout cookie. There was not a single other one. Just because of this. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Cam s hashtag Cam says dress up as a Girl Scout and go sell some CBD isolate. Oh my god. You guys are... <laughs> Alright. 
We're back on Instagram. I'm sorry. I have to dab Ooh, with Dan. the peeps on Instagram, you know. Dan what? Dement. I'm sorry if I butchered your last name. A bit of them all, lol. A bit of them all. I like your style, Dan. Dan is the man, I see. Um, all right, let's. Oh, a THC. What? The bit, of, like a bits and pieces of multiple. I all think right. I have some. Oh, I do have some THC here, actually. <laughs> I never leave the house without it, guys. Never. Never, 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 never. All right. So, okay, if I can, like. Okay, is this, like, not gonna, like. Uh, I should probably learn my. How do you don't even my... know what's. <laughs> Dude, I was like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, idiot, exactly. Um, all right, so did they say Girl Scout cookies? Everyone say Girl Scout cookie. Ooh, you guys want that Girl Scout cookie? No, they know I want that Girl Scout cookie. You guys want the Girl Scout cookie? All right, we're live on the gram again. Yeah, all right, everybody. All right, so, ooh. Mm, let me see. Do you have your water bottle here? No. All right, well, then this is it. All right, guys. This is a very ghetto way to fill this, but I'm going to try it. Oh, keep going right there. Boom. Wait, I'm that good. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't need no sink. Do we have Wellesie hats? Um, we have them. They're on the site. Um, they're a little bit back ordered right now. In the How hats. much should we sell them for? Uh, I don't. I think they're only like, I think they're 20 bucks, if that. I don't know. There's your answer, Stuart. I believe, I think, I don't know. Um, but I'm trying to get some. So, like, obviously when I have people review, normally I send, like, a little swag pack. Um, but, you know, I kind of, the hats kind of just went gone, and I just kind of forgot to get more ordered. Um, and I do want to change the um, hats. Um, instead of it just saying Wellesy right here, I actually want to have it, you've seen, like, some of the logos sometimes, it'll have Wellesy and then CBD underneath it. Uh, so that's kind of one of the changes, but I will, you know, I, it has seemed like they're the one thing that a lot of you guys are asking about, so. Can I get a hat? I'll get them. Yeah, you already have a hat. I gave him one, he's like, oh, you doing a good at the gym. I don't even use it for the gym, all right? Doesn't even, you, doesn't even oh. care about the Wellesy hat. It is like, clean. Oh my it gosh. pristine, dude. Yes, Jake Fabes, I know. Time. That's who I was talking about. You know, didn't get it. He didn't get a snap or a snap back for his review. You were the one who I was talking about. I know. I have other people that, you know, Damn. want them to. That's messed but up. I know. Oh, I know. I, I know. I know, Jake. I know. I know. I think I'm saying the same. Hopefully, way. within the. Uh, hopefully, in the next <laughs> month. I'm hoping, you know, I just. I, I'm sorry, guys. I just kind of. I got sidetracked with other things. Um, the hats, I forgot. Hey, I got you guys tumblers and stickers <laughs> and, um, 10 pack, uh, super chews. See you guys. So like, see us as well as see CBD. It would be like that on the hat. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and dab a little bit of CBD isolate. Ooh, kill a hemp reviews. Thank you very much. I'm going to post a review of your CBD oil soon. That blueberry, that blueberry is yeah, amazing. Blueberry kill a hemp reviews. You are absolutely amazing for supporting us. Thank you very, very much. Um, all righty, everybody, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's start the dabs. Here we go. Jake, there was a reason you didn't get a sticker. Why? Because you suck. <laughs> no, because we didn't that, have yeah, at the time we didn't have them now. But Jake, I, I'll send you some more. We were yeah. <laughs> when I sent you, it's kind of like a terrible time for me to like have like send like a review pack. I blame Cam. I blame. Okay, perfect. Jake, Faves, I'll get you a sticker on the man. I'll get you stickers and hats and you know. Oh, that's not girls. Oh, cooking. this is wow. This is sour diesel. I'm sorry, guys. All right, we'll do Girl Scout cookies. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Dude, Stuart Wells. What? Stuart. Why is it gone midnight and my one year old is wide awake eating biscuits? <laughs> Dude, the biscuits is what. Eating broken. biscuits. <laughs> so, like biscuits and gravy? Are they like no. soft biscuits? Are they crackers? Chips? I'm confused. When you say biscuits, yeah, what, is that different over what there? What food item? Like, when I say biscuits, like biscuits and gravy? Because, like, I mean, like, I'll eat biscuits, I guess, with, like, my Popeyes. But, like,. I don't know. Ooh, biscuits and gravy sound bomb. Yeah, right? When you go to the, that biscuit restaurant. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, right. the Denver Biscuit Company. That yeah, is. if you guys are ever out in Colorado, you guys like biscuits and gravy, go to the uh, Denver Biscuit Company. Let me tell you, mm, get stoned and go there. Mm, 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 yeah, he's mm, never invited mm. me to go. 
Haven't nope. gone in, but I, I'm a, I'm probably asleep. But yeah, because you got to go in the morning. Oh, do I? I can't go whenever I want. Well, they close it too. Well, here we go, everybody. Girl Scout cookies. Probably. Probably get a little bit of THC because I didn't clean this before, but whatever. Is there not a fire thing in here? Woo! Damn, that's that's a lot. What's up? I actually have a little bit of a headache, so I want to see how fast I take this to the dome. Okay. Just like how. So, let's see. All right, Cam. We'll heat it back up. So, guys, there's how you dab. If you guys have never seen a dab before, that's how you dab. Whether it's it. THC, CBD, Newton. That's good. I feel fantastic. So, it's just heating up, guys. Um, I love seeing all you guys talking about dab, 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 dab. Everybody really wanted Girl Scout cookies. I told you, like, dude. Like, you were right, dude. Holy shit. You, wow, you think I would lie I to you? Mean, yeah. I would wow, think. Wow, we're blood. Margie said, blow us all a kiss. I did. Margie. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, That's a nice looking device, Laura A. Bailey. I, I'm assuming she's probably talking about the rig because if she lives in Seattle, she knows what that is. Yeah, <laughs> I'd recommend this. The Rio by Sta the Stash Pro by the Rio by Stash Products. I would definitely recommend this. The Rio is super legit. If you're a dabber and you like to be on the go and be stoned, I would wait a second. Um, I would definitely recommend that. Um, let's. See. Here. Yeah, I mean, Ali, like, we have the hats, like, up on the site. Um, you know, I'm just a little out of stock. You got the... Yeah, I got it right here. All right. Yeah! Oh, look at this. Nice little carb cap. There we go. Boom. Ta-da! Makes you feel so good. And, guys... When you're dabbing CBD isolate, you know, or an extract, it's just like vaporizing. You know, it has those near immediate effects because guess what? You are vaporizing it, so it has those near immediate effects. <coughs> so once you inhale, by the time you probably exhale, you'll probably start feeling it because um, what's great about uh, these products is the fact that, um, you know, or isolate products is the simple fact that 0.1 grams is equi near equivalent to 100 milligrams in strength. There you go, see? So dabbing is not something that I would recommend for the beginners out there because 100 milligrams hitting your bloodstream, hitting your system, just like that all at once will chill you out. More than likely if you've never taken CBD before. So. Thank you, Laura A. Bailey. What? She said nice one. Nice one, yeah, there we go. See, he's done it before. Um, yes, Allium, the swag pack. That's what I was talking about. My reviewers, I just said, you know, when uh, recently when I've had to send out review packs, I haven't had the hats and the normal stuff that I want to send. So I will get it. And don't worry, Allium, I will get you that stuff. Don't you worry. I'll get you covered. I just... Dude, uh, Margie got a rig. Margie what? Margie said, just got my rig, just need something to put in it. Margie, you got a rig? Like an actual, like... Yeah, rig? Margie. Hell yeah, Margie. All right, Margie. I oh, like she did say she was moving to Colorado, didn't she? Well, she, she said she wanted to, but I'm just happy I that she Margie. That's awesome, but Margie, you literally like you could you need to start like a um an Instagram page because there's um I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but there's literally a page. That she's called Dabbing Granny. Dude, and she gets love her millions of views, and she's just she's just this sweet old lady who just like she smokes down so hard and she's just sitting there taking dabs like she's just at like these THC um you know events and there's all these young people around her and like she's just like oh. out smoking them and it's just absolutely amazing and she's just like sponsored by all these companies and stuff but yeah dabbing granny is awesome so um margie that's kind of what i envisioned i just envisioned you kind of just sitting there dabbing so that's awesome that you took our recommendation and i can have a non-stop smile since I took that dab, I just feel very, very good. Um, um, Laura A. Bailey, how you feeling? No, I feel fantastic. My like, general, just I feel very content and just happy and just well. I'm ready to go to the gym now. I just feel well. And you know, then uh, another one. 
Kerry Newman is dabbing stronger effects versus vaping CB. It's the same, right? I mean the well the isolates the lot. rate yeah, of absorption yeah, is yeah. near immediate for both of them because yeah. you're va- whether you're vaporizing nicotine juice or va- CBD vapors or isolate you're still vaporizing it but if you're when you're da- when you're vaping a CBD isolate oil there's 250 milligrams in the full bottle yeah what we basically just did had a hundred milligrams that just hit your system like that so it's a lot more concentrated. So this CBD isolate, you know, this obviously has terpenes in it, but this is the raw material that goes into making the CBD vape juice that you're currently making. You know, then they mix it with, you know, the flavoring and the PG and the VG, and then you vape it. So um, if, when, you're da- when you're dabbing it, it's just you're dabbing the, more, the concentrated form of the, uh, the vape oil. Thank you. Yes, of course. Of course. Uh, 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 uh. John, I had I need some CD isolate to try. Yeah, guys, I mean, we have it. You know, it's just like we're selling it. It's just I can't risk, tricky. you know, the merchant aspect of it because if the merchant shuts us down, then we can't sell products. So, uh, but as soon as we can, yeah, I'm I'm trying to be in commit. I'm trying to reach out and talk to them about this because this they they had this rule. They had reached out to me four or five months ago to do it. So I'm hoping that they the dummies over there pulled their heads out of their butts and figured it out but I don't know I tried to educate them I sent them like a long paragraph like long I shouldn't even say paragraph it was a long email of talking about like what you're trying to enforce is just dumb go it can't be any higher than like 60 70 percent I was like so what do you want the rest of it to be fillers Rachel Billings does capping and dabbing really make you feel happier slash more energetic I'm a serious slump and need something that helps. I mean, CBD affects everyone differently. I mean, when I take CBD, as you can tell, it depends on the I'm dose chill. too. Yeah, I'm chill. When I usually take that's CBD. I said like dabbing. I mean, that dabbing is just yeah. it's for the more so the more advanced user. You know, it's just like like us. It's just like when you're taking when you're smoking weed. You know, you wouldn't go your first time smoking weed. I mean, some people do, but just I mean, hey, but your first time smoking weed. More than likely not gonna smoke a dab. You're not gonna take a dab because guess what? That dab is seventy to sometimes up to ninety nine percent pure in the container. Whereas you know flour is fifteen up to thirty thirty two percent. It's getting a little higher. Um, so there's a vast difference in potency. So um, you know I I you know you could dab it, but I mean like you might get sleepy because the dose is so potent. I mean I don't know how. Often you use CBD. I mean, not saying that you, you don't build up a tolerance to CBD. It's just like you need to understand how CBD interacts and works with your endocannabinoid system, your personal body. Like everybody's different. So, um, you know, you and I could both be trying to, you know, both get happier, have just general feelings of wellness. Like Ooh. I'm just smiling. I just feel good. And I'm just talking, 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 talking. So like I just feel great right now. So, um, but maybe if you took this same dab, the same size, you know, maybe you were sleepy. So it's like maybe you would need to take a little bit less. So um, that's why, you know, I wouldn't recommend dabbing for a beginner. We always recommend you start with an oil, um, you know, or a pen like this. Um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, you could always start with vaping because you could vape something that's less concentrated, get like a 250 milligram and vape that because that's the same, uh, absorption rate as dabbing, you're vaporizing. So that's something you could certainly do. But I think I get more chill. I think I just like, when I take CBD, like my brain just starts going and I'm just like, all right, what can I do? Yeah. I just feel good. I start getting focused. That's why yeah. I pop in the headphones, dude. Yeah. Oh, I'll pop in the headphones. That's uh, honestly one of the main reasons why I use this. You know, the focus, concentration, and just the general wellness benefits. Um, and, you know, I'm realizing that it actually... Same thing with THC. That's just, it, I hate when people say that uh, weed makes people lazy. No, people make people you lazy. You just haven't found the right strain. Yeah. That's all it is. It's all about strain. You know, you need to take into consideration, obviously, the Indica Sativa Hybrid. I found an interesting article in regards to that. Um, I shared it on Well, I see. Um, you know, then it's then it's like there's terpenes, you know, because that'll have an effect on the effects that you're going to experience when you use that strain. So it's, it's really like, and I mean, honestly, it's like if you're going to be late, if I want to be lazy while I'm stoned, no matter what strain I want, I can be lazy. Yeah. But it's like, 
I'm just not a lazy person. It's like if you got to get shit, if you got to get shit done, and it's like you know that like oh I usually just like to chill when I smoke weed. Then don't smoke weed. Like yeah. I smoke weed and get shit done all the time. Like I smoke weed while I'm working all the time. Like I, I, I can function. It's just like you just need to understand yourself. It's like then don't overconsume. You do. Um like when you go on hikes, you and Danny go on hikes. You oh, smoke. I I blaze down all the. Just I have like, my pan. Yeah. I brought you know I brought my before I had this. Now I'll be able to bring this, but before you know I was just I was literally bringing a torch and a piece of glass and I was just dabbing right there in the parking lot. And then um, you know I would take a pen with me. I would just be stoned all the time. Like, I would I would get high and then I'd be in my room. I'd be like it'd be like summer. You would see me. I'd just like leave the house and go longboarding for like hours and go like yeah, hammocking. It's fantastic. I it's love. Amazing. Yeah, it, it's not it's. Comes, it's not weed, it's the person. Yeah, that's what I always say. Exactly, how I put it. Oh, I see you guys all like the uh, what we were just talking about with all the uh, the hearts and the loves and everything. Who gave us a an angry face? I saw. An Who angry the face. hell? <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> flip the table. <laughs> oh man, uh, I sound fantastic. Rachel Billings, I need a Wellesy hoodie. We do have Wellesy hoodies available up on the website right now, actually. Uh, let's see. All right, I'm going to answer a few more of you guys' questions. And then, you know, we'll pick a little winner. Uh, Just Dan Jenkins says, dabbing is awesome. I'm jealous. Uh, let's see. A lot at once. I want to carry you and say, wow, that's a lot of once. I want to try it. I, hey, I mean, I, if somebody's willing to try it, I mean, try it. It's just like. Be at home while you when the first time you dab THC or even CBD, oh. it just be at home and so you're just relaxing. You know? The first time I did it was what, dab with you. THC weed. Yeah, oh, it was yeah. with you, and I passed out on the couch. And you made fun of me because I passed out within five minutes. <laughs> now anytime you do, oh, you get passed out. No, I'm not gonna pass out. All right. I was like, I don't even know how long ago, but whatever. I was like, Asshole. that's funny. That was hilarious. Oh yeah, I still remember. I was out like a light because uh, you loaded me one I was like you know what I'm not going to say no I was like I'm not going to look a little bitch in front of my brother <laughs> Denise Wise and I what does dabbing do to your lungs if you're asthmatic well just like with anything um, if you have a respiratory issue um, I would not recommend vaping or smoking now I will say there are those of you in here um, that you, even people that have COPD have said that they vape and it helps them and I understand it it's a natural bronchodilator you know anti-inflammatory um, you know, it makes sense why it works for, you know, uh, respiratory diseases, or respiratory conditions. Um, but, you know, I, Denise, wouldn't recommend you start dabbing. Now, that's totally up to you what you do with that advice, okay? But um, I just, you know, anytime somebody says I have this respiratory condition, I'm not going to recommend vaping or dabbing. Yeah. Just smart. Yeah, staying on uh, the safe side of things. Safe than so. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, Marjorie, we can figure it out about the isolate and the flower. Okay, I see that. But <laughs> Jake Fame says because she's eating biscuits and gravy. Yeah, you guys thought that was funny. Like, <laughs> oh, uh, let's see. All right, guys, there are so many, and don't worry, guys. I will uh, go through and I will be answering your guys' questions tonight after the show uh, because you guys, of course, uh, gave me your precious time. So I want to return Jesus, the favor and give you guys uh, my time by answering your guys' questions because uh, obviously if you guys ask that question, um, there's a reason for it. So I don't want it to just like go left you know, unanswered, and you guys just be like, well, thanks, Eden and Wellesley. Um, you know, I just, I really do care about helping you guys, so I'm pulling it up right now. Um, let's see. Ow. You okay, Cam? Yeah, I'm just my lengthy ass. Oh, yeah. I it's love how you like, I can see Cam's leg pop up from time to time. Dude, they're long. Yeah. And, guys, make sure if you um, check out those, uh, the Pachamama, um, athletic card right here, of course. You know, the Pachamama tinctures, very, very good, available on Wellesley. And also, guys, if you didn't hear, the uh, Koi Healing Bomb, the top selling topical on Wellesley, is now available in a 1,000 milligram. I know. Right? I'm surprised that is still around, to be honest with you. I was worried. I was like, I was like gosh, I have to wait till the next paycheck. I was like, but I want to get some. 
get a little bit of this. I was like, oh shit, like people might buy it. I'm pretty surprised it's not. Let's see. Um, all right, here we go. Okay, 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 okay. Nice. That'd be perfect after the gym. Or right now, my legs are really sore. Yeah, you're just chilling? Yeah, dude. Just chilling, bro. All right. Uh, All right. I feel, I love that dab. Mm. Fantastic, fantastic, everybody. Let's get the party started. Let's get the party started. Uh-oh. Mm. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Oh, yeah, like, all right, here we go. Let's see. Find someone. Yeah. I think so. All right, winner number one is Carrie Newman. Carrie Newman, I believe you're still here. I thought I just saw you comment, but Carrie Newman, I just need you to comment and say, I'm still here, Eden. And, oh, and look at that, Carrie Newman. I have a koi tattoo, so it works out that you're winning the uh, white koi, honestly. Um, let me see here. What is this? WW93? Yeah. Um, boom. Okay, Carrie Newman, you'll get a white koi, 250. Oh, we need to get the... What? From Friday out. I forgot about that one. Oh, no, she emailed me, actually. Um, oh, hello, Mike Everett. It's wonderful to see you. I hope everything is going swell with the build-out of the there new dispensary. Is. Okay, perfect, perfect. Carrie Newman, very nice. Okay. Um, stay around. Hold on. I'm going to pick one more winner. Okay, everybody? Okay? All right. Here we go. Are you guys on the edges of your seats? Yep. Everyone. Yep. Okay. Winner number two is Crystal Bell Martinez. Crystal Bell Martinez. Are you still here? Uh, Denise Weisenhut, the code for today is WW93. Again, the coupon code is WW93. So make sure um, you use that. Um, all right. So, Carrie Newman, what is that? It's a, um, you can vape it or you can actually use it as a tincture. It's an unflavored additive. So you drop it under your tongue and or you can mix it with a drink. You can drink, mix it with your coffee, your water. You can put it on your bagel you mix it with your cream cheese i've done that you know some random things um but honestly the easiest way is just drop it under your tongue or if you vape your favorite vape juice so um all right crystal bell martinez you are still here very nice you stuck around until the end all right so crystal bell martinez and um carrie newman i need both of you guys or gals i should say to email me at hello at wellacy.com again hello at wellacy.com and please make sure you do both of these things. Take a picture of your driver's license, attach it, and then right below that, type out your shipping address. They need you to type out your shipping address. It's very, very important. So, hello at wellc.com. Take a picture of your driver's license, type out the shipping address, Oop. and shoot it over. And Cam and I will get you guys um, your bottle of the White Koi CBD oil shipped out to you guys. It's a 250 milligram tincture, or you can also vape it. So, make sure you guys shoot that over. Um, to me ASAP so we can get it out to you because if you don't email me I cannot get it out to you yes Kayla Williams just like that I just hold it under my tongue or vape see you can do either or um, and guys thank you Allium for helping and uh, pasting that um, and everybody if you guys did not win thank you all for watching I'll go through and answer all your guys questions tonight Josh Arnett will chat um, and make sure get 15% off your entire purchase wellc.com coupon code ww 9 don't forget guys the super chews are now available in a 10 pack they're on the same page as the super chews there's just a little uh an option there's a 10 pack and a 30 pack or a 30 count bottle for you to choose from so make sure you do that you know we got some more swag um i'll keep adding some more stuff on there for you guys i will work on getting more hats um just for all of you guys uh, but thank you all for hanging out with us for Episode, wow, 93 of Wellness Wednesday, guys. We have almost been doing this thing for, um, what, almost two years straight? That is all because of you guys and all because you guys support us. So thank you very much. Cam and I will see all of you guys and gals on Friday at the exact same time, 4 p.m. Mountain Standard, 6 p.m. Eastern, for Feel Good Friday. So 
come ready and if you guys need anything we're here just reach out you guys have a fantastic night see you all on